Hello students, welcome to commerce class for SS1. Our topic for today is trade. At the end of this class, students should be able to define trade and know the types of trade. Definition of trade. Trade is defined as the act of buying and selling of goods and services. Trade is a basic economic concept involving the buying and selling of goods and services with compensation paid by the buyer to the seller or the exchange of services between parties. The most common medium of exchange for this transaction is money. Types of trade We have home trade or domestic trade and foreign or international trade. The first kind of trade we'll be looking at is the home trade. The home trade is also referred to as domestic trade. It is the act of buying and selling within a geographical location, usually a country. In home trade, there is the use of a common currency. In Nigeria, we make use of Naira. Now, we have two types of home trade. They are retail trade and Wholesale trade. Let's start with the retail trade. Retail trade is the business activity of selling goods and rendering of services to the final consumer. It is the final link in the chain of distribution of goods and services, and its aim is to make goods available to the final consumers. Retail trade is carried out by the retailer. Now, what are the functions of the retailer? 1. The retailer sells goods in small quantities to the consumers. The retailer sells at convenient hours and convenient locations. The retailer stocks variety of goods. The retailer renders door-to-door services. The retailer can also sell on credit to the final consumer. The retailer supplies information to the wholesaler and the producer. Classification of retail trade. Retail trade is classified into two the small scale retail trade and large scale retail trade. Let's start off with the small scale retail trade. The small scale retail business is the means of trading with a small scope of operation. Little capital can be used to set up a small scale retail business. Examples of small scale retail trade are mobile shops street or roadside trading, kiosks, hawking, small stores, and market traders, etc, etc. What are the advantages of small-scale retail trade? 1. It requires little capital. Small-scale retail trade is near to the consumers. It creates employment opportunities Small scale retail trade requires little or low running cost, etc. And the disadvantages of small scale retail trade are Small scale retail trade does not encourage expansion. The profit in the business is usually low. The retailers have no technical knowledge about the goods they sell. The location of small-scale retail trade is usually poor. Small-scale retail trade lack good capital to run the business. Let's move on to large-scale retail trade. Large-scale retail trade has a large scale of operation. The retailers achieve their growth by increasing the fiscal size of their units to cater for more customers. Examples of large-scale retail trade trade are chain or multiple stores, variety stores, retail cooperative society, mail order, supermarkets, hypermarkets, etc. Advantages of large-scale retail trade 1. Access to large capital. Large-scale retail trade have access to larger capital of finance 
which helps them make more profits. Their large size gives them the ability to stock variety of goods. 3. It gives room for electronic buying and selling. It facilitates e-commerce. 4. It requires a few sales attendants. Only few sales attendants are needed because customers do self-service. 5. They offer after-sales service to customers. 6. There is extensive advertisement. ETC. What are the disadvantages of large-scale trade? 1. They do not give credit facilities to customers. 2. Less attention is given to customers since there are price tags on the products. 3. It is usually common and restricted to those in the urban areas. Those in the rural areas may not gain access to large-scale retail trade. 4. There is high cost of operating large-scale retail trade. 5. There is no opportunity to bargain. So let's look at foreign trade. Foreign trade, also known as international trade, is the exchange of goods and services between two or more countries. Foreign trade is the exchange of goods, capital, and services across international borders or territory. In most countries, it represents a significant share in the gross domestic product GDP. Types of foreign trade We have two types of foreign trade which are bilateral trade. Bilateral trade is a trade agreement in which two countries exchange goods and services e.g. Nigeria and Ghana. We also have the second type of international trade which is multilateral trade. This is the type of international trade where a country trades with two or more countries e.g. Nigeria trades with Ghana, USA, Russia, Togo, ETC. Division of foreign trade Foreign trade is divided into three, namely import trade, export trade, and entry port trade. Import trade refers to the purchase of goods by one country from another country. For example, Nigeria buying bags of rice from Ghana, that is importation to Nigeria. While the next one, export trade. Export trade refers to the sales of goods by one country to another country. For example, Nigeria selling crude oil to USA, that is export trade to Nigeria. While lastly, entry port trade. Entry port trade is also known as re-export. It is the purchase of goods from one country and then selling them to another country after some processing operations. For example, Nigeria selling crude oil to the US, then the US refining the, the crude oil, then selling it to Ghana. That is entry port trade or re export. Reasons for international trade. We have various reasons for international trade, which includes 1. Uneven distribution of natural resources. 2. Expansion of market for products. 3. Difference in technology. 4. Difference in skills. 5. Difference in climatic condition. 6. Desire to improve the standard of living. ETC. What are the barriers or injuries to international trade? We have difference in currency. Difference in culture and beliefs. Difference in language. Distance. Political instability. Problem of documentation. Transportation and communication. Government policy. Difference in legal system and immigration laws. We also have difference in weights and measures, amongst other barriers. Now, this is a diagram showing the classification of trade. We have on the left side domestic trade, where we have 
wholesale trade and retail trade and on the right side we have international trade and on that it we have import trade export trade and entry port trade